what are the objectives objectives in SnowRunner, and what is this game all about? It's hard to say that word objectives right now, for some reason. Objectives. Objectives. There we go. The beginning of this game, on the regular version, if you have the DLC vehicle, the CON in all caps, K-H-A-N 39 Marshall vehicle, which is an all-terrain, always in four-wheel drive vehicle. Now, if you play the hard version, you don't get that vehicle, the DLC, at the very beginning, like you do in the regular version. Free, right there in your garage, ready to go. It costs $20,900 when you play the hard mode version of this game, which I am playing. As you can see, if I pause the game, it says hard mode. And it's only available... Let's pause the game. Wait, wait, I can't pause it. Not in this mode, anyway. If I go to the garage, it's available in, in Russia. And this is part of the explanation of what, is, what, is, what if, is this game all about. What are the objectives? And if you have this DLC, which I have because I got the season pass when I got the pre-order, you go to the global map, scroll to the right, I believe that is... Yes, it's in Russia. And you can see the description in the upper left-hand corner. You can pause the screen. Let's go back to my truck. And to do that on the PlayStation 4 controller, I hit, I hit first hit the back button. And now from here, I cannot leave the garage. So I hit the big button in the middle of the controller and then scroll to my Fleet Star. That easy. And as you saw on the map, it's just a matter of hitting R1 and L1 get to the various menus and just keep going in either direction until you get to your vehicles. I have four of them. Here's the Con 39 Marshall that I spoke of, which is actually parked right next to this truck back there, which we'll see in a minute at the end of this video. I found it easier to drive in this mode, first person. The analog controller, the left analog controller just seems to respond better than in third person. I have noticed to scroll out and scroll back in the left analog stick towards the vehicle that's the fuel see how cool that is it's just neat all these little cool add-ons this game has it actually uses physics there the get the petrol is you know sloshing around for lack of a better word and this is as far as you are able to zoom out which takes a while to get used to. It, it seems very claustrophobic. Which I am not claustrophobic in real life. If anybody is out there, you, you might not want to play this game. Because as you can see right now, I'm in the cab. Very detailed. Look, it shows all the gauges. I believe if you leave your lights on in hard mode, I don't know for sure. It probably, instead of losing its battery because it's a game I believe it instead would just run out of fuel because that's the next best thing to not being able to start but I've never done that I've never left the lights on I've never left the gas running unless unless you want to use it to provide light for another vehicle while it's doing a mission you can leave it running with the lights on it gets pretty dark at night Right now I'm on the Michigan map. So this game encompasses moving goods and services from point A to point B, which we're gonna do right now as part of, part of a contest, which I've already done twice. And I believe on hard mode, I thought you could do it three times and then that's it. In the regular version of this game, I believe, don't quote me, I believe you can farm them it's a contest. I don't know for sure. 
that could have been updated to be changed, but he, if it, it definitely was, I've heard from, in the, from other folks in the community. Yes, I am able to do it one more time. So here it is, in eight minutes or less, I get the maximum reward, you can see. And I've been able to do it in seven minutes. Let's see if I can beat that time. All right, here we go. Well, whoops, I have not, I almost made a mistake. I first need to load my lumber. Because I've left that part of the explanation of what this contest is all about. Now, in the beginning of this game, you start out with limited resources. If you don't have the DLC, you start out with just a truck and a Chevy Scout truck. The CK-1500, which has upgrades. Oh yes, I forgot to mention the upgrades. I'll get to that in a minute. Show contest, start. Now I'm gonna talk here, my best time, 6 minutes, 52, seven, 52 seconds, attempts left one. Since this is hard mode, I only get to do it three times. I believe in the regular version of this game, of this game you can farm it. Now, this video, I'm not going to talk about the complications on, on this menu, which is the big square button in the middle on your PlayStation 4 controller. This is the part that, if you're new to the game, just study it. Study this menu. See what you can do with it. You're going to be overwhelmed. And you may want to have to take a break. Come back to the game. Maybe put it down because you're going to get frustrated. Believe me, this is the first time you're playing it. Walk away for a day or two. Go play a different game. Come back to SnowRunner later. Because the more... And then you may have to also do a restart. I did that twice. I've done two, I did two restarts in this game on a regular version. I played the regular version for six days, got bored, because you will get bored, you will figure out why. I don't need to, in your own time, when you play this game. The hard, mer the hard mode version is the next step up. You start a brand new game from scratch, pay, you pay for everything, that's what I'm playing right now, and the immersion value is 100 times greater because there's actual consequences. The regular version of this game there's no consequences because most f fuel is free repairs are free you can teleport to the garage for free on hard mode it costs twenty five hundred dollars for a base scout vehicle if, if it is unrecoverable on its own you can pay twenty five hundred dollars and have it technically role play get picked up by some service that is not in the game and just actually just teleports to the garage that's not repaired like it is in the regular version of this game. That was a lot to talk about. And there's more. There's more than this that. It's very complicated as I go up, as I keep going. You may have to watch this video twice. Whoops, I forgot to start the contest. Because I've already done it twice, I know what direction I'm going. Now for a vehicle such as this, if, I believe it's $10,000 to recover, if I flip it, or yeah, if, if it just falls over, which is tough to do, it's $10,000 to teleport it to the garage, but that's not going to include repairs or any body damage. In the regular version of this game, body damage and repairs happen automatically every time you teleport for free at no consequence. And you're going to need it. You're going to you're going to need that mechanic because this game is going to drive you crazy. You are going to tip your vehicles. You're going to get stuck. You're going to get stuck a lot. So the regular version of this game giving you having to not use any money to teleport to the garage. It's there for a reason. So so play the regular version for about six days, and I'm talking lots of gameplay. Could, it could be two weeks, it could be a month, depending on how often you play this game. I've been playing this game every day, every day, for like a week. Longer than a week. And then, you will start to get bored in the regular version of the game. 
Definitely, I guarantee it. Because the, the game will be too easy. Hard mode, though, is a completely different game. It's fun. It's fun. How many times can I say, wow? The other day, my Chevy CK1500 turned over. And I didn't want to pay the $2,500 for the scout vehicle recovery fee. So I used my second scout, which was the DLC, but I hadn't purchased it yet. I had to go to the Russia version. Wow, usually it takes me two minutes to get here. I'm making a good time. I think I'm gonna beat my record. So I drove my con, which is spelled capital K, capital H, capital A, capital N, because that's the, that's the name of the vehicle. 39 Marshall, all-terrain, upgraded engine. And since I, I made it in two minutes or less, I'm gonna use this opportunity to refuel from this location, a maintenance trailer that's just there. I didn't purchase it, it, it comes with the game. And it is here on this location of the map. And the start location for this map is right about here in this town area. Okay. Oh, geez, I'm wasting time. Hit the gas. Hit the gas. And because of that, I'm not going to break my record. Well, oh well. I'm still going to make it in under eight minutes, though. Don't worry. Sometimes I get to talking. And the enthusiasm I have for this game went up a thousand percent when I ch switched to hard mode. Because the tutorial will already be completed. And on hard mode, you do not have to do the tutorial. Which is also the number one reason why a person should start playing this game. Not on hard mode, you're just straight out of the box, into the game. As you as a person, getting to know this game, and it's going to drive you nuts, okay? Once you get past that, you go to the hard version of this game. There's no tutorial. They start you with, actually, a, a second truck that you have to repair first which they give you free repair supplies with a supply trailer, which is right there at the, at the garage for when that does happen. So that's what this game is all about. I know there's more. I might as well continue talking because I have not completed this mission yet. There's more to cover. What this game is all about, what are the objectives? The objectives are to get more vehicles, to upgrade them. This vehicle has the upgraded engine, which I found with my scout vehicles, and you can install it for free only once. Your other vehicles, you have to pay for the upgrade, but it has to be unlocked by finding the upgrade locations on the map, which some are located by using watchtowers, some are not. Some you have to stumble, stumble upon with one of your scout vehicles. This truck has the upgraded suspension, upgraded to mud tires, very nice mud tires, and the next upgraded engine. So it performs very good, and I picked the right time to do this contest. With the, with the regular version of this game that, I'm sorry, with the hardware, I'm sorry, the Fleet Star starts out for everybody at its stock, then you have to upgrade it. This, this definitely has got some upgrades to it. It's fun. Once you, get, once you get to the next engine size setup with increased uh, in power at the, at the cost of burning extra fuel, that's okay. There's plenty of fuel everywhere. You just need to be clever. That's in different videos, which I won't, won't get into too much depth because that's a whole nother topic on hard mode. I can make 
an eight minute vi video just on how to how to find fuel on hard mode because in the regular version of this game like I said earlier fuel is free but you're gonna need it and then you're gonna get bored of it so you definitely want to play hard mode when you get bored some people can play this game maybe for a month on the regular version without getting bored that's just what happened to me it happened it only took six days at playing about 12 hours a day six times 12 72 hours so if you if you want to play this game for 72 hours and let's say you play two hours a week I mean I'm sorry yeah two hours a week let's say it's gonna take you a long time to understand this game you're best off just watching a bunch of YouTube videos on hard mode and of course watching a tutorial video for this game would be a good idea You know, with me rambling, I still might beat my record. I think my record was six minutes. I can't remember the last. Oh yeah, I'm gonna beat my record anyway. Now that's awesome. Because this is the last time I can do this mission. I cannot farm it. Whoops. It's not letting me drop off. Oh, I missed the church. <laughs> There's my all-terrain vehicle, 39 Marshall Con. It's the capital K, capital H, capital A, capital N, 39 Marshall. Turn the lights on. It's getting dark out. Sun's going down here in Michigan. So I'm not going to beat my record, but I'm still going to get it under eight minutes and still get the full reward. But, hey, like I said earlier, sometimes it's hard for me to talk and drive at the same time. I did admit that at the beginning of this video, so you gotta, la you gotta laugh at that. So this video has been about 24 minutes. I really don't have much more to talk about. Whoa, I gotta make it in under eight minutes. Hit that gas, hit that gas. This, it's down to the wire, everybody, everyone. We don't want to break any laws. We don't want to just look like a fool and jump the curb. People are watching. We've got to do this cleanly. I, w I was thinking about jumping that curb, right? Just like I'm like I'm in GTA 5. This is not GTA 5. <laughs> and you cannot exit your vehicles, by the way. You're only limited to teleporting to them. There we go. I've been promoted. I did it under, oh, just under eight minutes to get the full reward. I did it in the wrong order, but the other two missions, I went to the church first and then the house. So I'm going to turn my vehicle off and I'm going to teleport. I haven't showed everybody that yet. Hit the parking brake. Hit the circle button to remove out of this menu and then hit the L1 button and hold it down. L1, hold L1 and hit the circle button to turn your lights off. Now to teleport, you if, you're, if your trucks are too far away, there's a two ways to, to change vehicles. If there's no other vehicle nearby, this is the best way. You hit the square button on the middle of your PlayStation 4 controller, scroll to your vehicles, in this case this one, click on it once and then a second time with the X button, teleports it to you. That's the only mechanic that's really cool. We, we have the superpower of being able to teleport with our avatar. That is cool. We cannot exit our vehicles. It is what you get. You can only zoom out this far using the L1 toggle stick to turn the lights back on. Hold L1, hit the circle button to start it up. You can also just hit the R2 button. But to turn it off, you must hit D-pad up, stop engine. As far as I know, unless there's another way, let me know in the comments because Maybe, there's got to be another way to turn the engine off, but that's as far as what I know. That's how it's done. And to exit this menu, you hit the circle button again. Or the back button. Just like every game out there, the circle button is the back button. It's on PlayStation 4. Now, you can also start the engine by hitting the reverse button, which is L2. Without having to go to functions up and then 
start engine like this. That gets annoying because it adds an extra step. When I first started playing this game, I didn't figure out that it's easier to start with just L1, L, L2 or R2. I was always doing this. I was going to the functions button, and then sometimes I would scroll and I would miss it because I've done it so often and my, maybe I wasn't looking just right. I had to do it that way and then hit the B button. Three steps, and it started to irritate me to the point where I'm thinking, what is going on here? Why can't they just make it easier? And it turns out there was an easier way. There is no other easier way to stop to stop the engine as far as I know. That I must do, which isn't actually as bad. But to start it, and then at one, one time I just hit the R2 button, and whoa, I was like, cool, it starts that way. Instead of three steps, it's one step. That made me happy. I almost put this game down because I didn't think that they had put that mechanic in the game. That's why this game game that how this game gets frustrating. Because the mechanics, there's so many, and they don't the tutorial doesn't tell you very much. The tutorial, for lack of a better term, is not very good. I was gonna say a curse word, but I stopped myself. I will actually give it a rating. The tutorial, I'll give it for the basic, the what, how this game actually is, the objectives, the meat of this game, which the game actually calls it. The game actually says, well, this is basically the meat of this game, enjoy your time, and then the tutorial is over. It does well on there, that aspect, but the tutorial is terrible. It's terrible, I'm telling you, with the mechanics what the buttons do. How do you do this? How do you do that? This one especially. There's there's no tutorial for this. The object objects, which is my objects, and then around the map there are... These are all free, by the way. I have not purchased any flatbed trailers, any sideboard trailers. This fuel carrier trailer, which I think everybody gets. And on hard mode, you're going to need that. Keep it filled. There's, there are clever ways to keep it filled for free. That's another video. So all of these, this is the service trailer that comes with the game for everybody. On hard mode, you're going to need it. So I, my repairs have been free technically for now until that runs out of parts. It has a, only a certain amount of parts and then everything's gone. But you can purchase another one, which is cheaper than having to repair your vehicles all the time. But you still, if your body of your vehicle is really terrible, like it's banged up, and it will get banged up, you need to actually repair the body, and that's $2,500 in the garage. But on the regular version of this game, you don't have to worry about that. It's always perfect. Everything's always perfect looking. And that's one of the values of hard mode and the immersion value kicks in because the body work could look really banged up, and the engine could be repaired, everything could be repaired, but the body, you need to, you need to actually repair the body that's damaged. The body work for your vehicles that's damaged costs $2,500 to clean it up. That is cool. Let me tell you, it's neat. Let me show you. So all of those... This one is protected well. I have not had to repair the body on this. Turn the lights off. Turn the, uh, turn the Stop the engine. Let me show you the body work on my truck that we were just driving. This Fleet Star. Let's look at the body work here. Now this is in good shape. Everything's, but look at that, I, how it's all banged up, banging up into trees, rocks, because it's rough terrain. It's been worse than that before. I've only had to repair this one once, and that's going to happen. But you see that front plate there? I actually purchased that to protect. The stock version isn't that good for protection. I believe there could be upgrades to add even more protection, but this is pretty much a very reliable truck. Look at the tires there. We'll zoom in on this. The fuel capacity, see, it tells me how much fuel I've got. And the, it just lights up green like that. I've got the upgraded suspension and the upgraded mud tires as well as the upgraded engine, which we cannot look at. But who cares? Those are the rims that I chose. You can change colors of your vehicle and your rims for free, no charge, even on hard mode. So that's the that's how this game works. I think there's more to talk about. The what What is... Now, the meat of this game is doing missions. Let's let, we, Now we need to look at this mission. I said I wasn't going to talk about it, but here I am. Here are all the work orders. Then hit the back button or the circle button. Don't worry about what is, what is Husky forwarding, Dyson Diesel, and Steel River Township. 
don't worry about that. I haven't really looked into the theory of what, what that all encompasses. So this map, I've, I've completed one of the goals for that. Here's more. I've completed all these missions. And there's more to look at. And then, of course, let's, here I've completed all these missions for this. It gets hard to understand, and your mission progression is going to be doing things back and forth. Because this game is tough to figure out. It, it's so immersed. It's, it's real-life stuff in a game. It's basically a simulator, is what it is. So I'm working on missing machinery. These are tasks. That's different. Don't get confused with contracts and tasks. For a minute there, I couldn't distinguish between the two. Finally, I realized. So if there's ever a task, accept it, but you don't act... Accept the challenge, but you don't actually have to start the mission yet. So, and the only way to accept the task is to actually is is to actually drive out and find it. Whereas these contracts, you don't have to drive out and find them. They're just there. All you do is activate them and follow them, and they tell you the contract tells you what to do. Those do not need to be activated. The contests need to be activated. And right now, meteor meteorology data, as you can see. I, I can do this three times. I just haven't done it yet, but I collected it way, 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 way up here. Let me zoom out. At the factory, which is a long drive, which I do have my Chevy truck, which everybody starts out in the game with. Sitting there resting. It hasn't been used in a while. I used it for a mission, and I just haven't needed it again until a while. So it's, it's cool there with a full tank of gas. Just waiting. So here are the points that I need to go to to complete the mission. Just like I did previously, just, just you know, about 10 minutes ago. So, what I'm saying is, the point of this, the point I'm making is grab the contest. You have to actually accept it and activate it, but, but you don't necessarily have to start the mission yet. I mean, I mean the contest yet. If you don't, you're not going to have it available. You're going to forget forget about it because, and you have to drive all the way back up there, which, which, which was. Uh, it was over here. Excuse me. It's a long drive. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. All the way over here. So that would be that would be a chore and actually be irritating to have to do all that with this river in the way. And there's more to this, Michigan. There's, there's like four maps for Michigan, and I've only, I've, I've been playing so much, there's so much content just on this mat, uh, map right now, and I'm, pr I'm pretty sure there might, oh yes, let's look at the, wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. There's your trucks and trailers, which I showed earlier. I, I haven't purchased any of these, I found them while just by exploring. So you don't really need to purchase trailers in this game. They're, they put them out there for you. Some of them actually have cargo loaded onto them for free that you can use. It does. The game takes care of you. Hard mode, once you, once you play the regular version of this game, hard mode is really tough. Yes, I almost had to do a restart once and I completely start from scratch. That was scary. I actually made a video about it. It's called a SnowRunner movie. It's on my channel. It's 51 minutes long. That's why I called it a movie. Get yourself some popcorn and a soda and watch that. So that's basically this menu here. That's it. And then, of course, this is important information. There's a watchtower I need to explore that will give me a bonus, some XP, and might reveal some upgrade locations that I can find. So let's do that. <laughs> I need to show you. Now, go to this map again, hit the R2 button, and it will give you a, basically a general direction you can go. It actually is a lot b easier than that. You can plan your route because there is no there is no GPS mini map in this game. Don't ask me why. That will frustrate you. So what you do is you do this. You just keep hitting the R2 button, and then if you get if you make a mistake, just hit L2, and it'll it'll disappear. Okay. 
and then R2 to place my tracker. I'm going to go into un uncharted territory here because the fog of war is in the gray. Everybody knows what fog of war is? It's a, it's a um, expression of words. Or fog of war. Fog, I think there's another name for it that don't doesn't use the word. But that's just a figure of speech that a lot of gamers are familiar with. Let's do that, and then continue this way. We're going to do some more driving. How about that? If you want to stick around to do some more driving, this this just might be a, mo a mo another movie that I'm making by accident. Didn't intend for this video to be for so long. But there's a lot to cover, and I want to make sure that I do it all in one video. And we're going to do it at night. We're going to do some night driving. Full tank of gas, because I siphoned, I siphoned gas. You can siphon gas in this game. And I did it earlier before this video. With the, that truck I was doing the contest with. The contest mission. Doing some night driving. Okay, you, you ready to go into first person? You need to here, because it's mandatory. Because like I said, the analog controller, which is the left analog, which is L3, the L3 control analog is much more precise in this person for stuff like that. You can accidentally flip my truck on a rock that's too big. Wait a minute, where am I going? Wrong way. It's hard to see at night. It's cool how dark it gets. There, there's my blue orb. Which is neat. Whoops. Sorry. My camera angle was stuck. That will happen. Sometimes the camera angles will get stuck. But it, it doesn't last long. Depends on where you are. This is cool. Uncharted territory. Now, to go to first person, you hit the analog R3 button. Click it down. Which is different than driving, where you don't need to click. You just move it. Whereas, first person, third person, the R3 analog stick, you push down on it to switch. Now, here, I want to go to third person because... I almost flipped. Uh-oh. Just go, just go, just go, just go. Yeah, if I had flipped over, I would have had to go get another vehicle to, to winch it over. Or pay a $2,500 fee. Nope. Not on hard mode. Cash is worth... You don't get much cash uh, flow going. Because there's, there's just stuff you need to purchase. You're going to have accidents. In the very beginning. Once you get a nice cushion of about $20,000. That's when you know you're doing okay. You keep Leave yourself a cushion. Because there might be... They might need to buy a trailer. But so far, like I say, I've never had to buy any. In the very beginning of this game, you're not going to be used to it. You... You will buy trailers. Because you just don't know where they are. So, so that's... This video is kind of a spoiler alert, but also a tutorial in a way. Like, what is this game all about? What are the objectives? So think of it that way. And it's like a movie because it's gonna... It's just such a long video. So you can treat it like that. I hope you're enjoying your popcorn. And your favorite soda drink. Some people don't drink soda. They drink other beverages, which is totally cool. Wait a minute. I just went the wrong way. Here we have... Wait a minute. Let's look at the map. Oh, yeah. Okay, I've never been to this watchtower. 
Hopefully it will uh, display maybe some upgrades locations. Upgrades are free the first time, and if you can use them on other vehicles, it costs money the second time. On the regular version of this game, I'm not sure if that applies. It doesn't really matter. You'll have so much money with the regular version of this game, so don't worry about that. That's always cool. Now, let's see. A new objective discovered. That's cool. And that's it. I was hoping I was hoping it would see how the the map lit up. And you'll see the upgrade locations once they get found. Here I could explore up here. There's probably I need to actually go out, out here with this scout and see if there's an upgrade location there. Maybe go explore here. Definitely not today. But if I have nothing else better to do, I need to find all the upgrades on this map. Now, I think there's a way... Come on, let me turn the gas off. Turn the lights off. Hit the parking brake. Hit the... Now here, hit down on the D-pad. We'll show you your profile. I believe the tutorial tells you that. Yes, it does. What I'm looking for is the upgrades unlocked. Now, like I say, there's four different versions of this map. They're all tiny like this. You actually have to go through tunnels, which will teleport you to the next version of Michigan, which we can look on another menu. But I, I need to verify that. Don't quote me on that. So you can pause the screen here and look at all this information. I haven't done Alaska yet. Or Russia yet but I had to go to Russia to purchase my DLC put it in not deploy it but just purchase it outright by hitting the square button not the X button if you hit the X button you're gonna it's gonna you're gonna it's gonna cost you double to get it back to Michigan so then I had to then then once I then I put it in the uh, Michigan garage I put it in the Michigan garage and only had to pay the fee once to deploy it on the regular version of this game you don't have to pay a deployment fee so there's a lot of cash is very very tough resource in the beginning of this game and you need it for everything on the hard mode version so I want to just cover this one more time hit the global map which is the triangle button up yes Michigan has right now I have access to Smithville Dam but I got my truck flipped over and it was too dangerous to go get another vehicle because to try to unflip it which here garage not discovered yet I, I only explored just a tiny bit flipped over my Chevy truck which was the scout at the time and I'm like what do I do do I get another vehicle and try to winch this back over again and I'm thinking no this where it had turned over was such a bad area in the water on a, on a big steep hill that led to the water <laughs> I'm thinking no I can't risk two of them getting flipped over so I paid the $2,500 fee only once, and, and, and that's good. That's why I'm doing so well, because there's going to be times in this game where you're going to be just down to like maybe 300 bucks. That's all you're, and then if you, it's riding on what the actual, your actual game is riding on whether or not your scout flips. If it flips again, you got to start over. If you have two of your scouts that flip over, trying to recover the one that flipped over and then that one flips over most likely and you're out of cash you can't do any more deployments you got to start the game over unless you want to do it with one of your cargo trucks you better be have upgraded tires and an upgraded engine to go winch that out that's probably your best choice because it's harder to flip so that would be another option but you have to have uh, the upgrades before you do that this, the stock version is not going to be powerful enough believe me and the Fleet Star is the only one with four-wheel drive. For all-wheel drive, I'm sorry. All-wheel drive. It's different with trucks. Um, cargo trucks. Okay. So, to get out of this map, you hit the circle... I'm sorry, the, the big square button in the middle of the controller, and then teleport to one of your vehicles like this. That's how you get out of there if you have no 
we had to leave the garage, which is you have to be in a vehicle. So your avatar does have its limits, but it can teleport, which is very useful. And, it, it, and it's, it's consider it a superpower. It does not break the immersion of the game if you think of it that way, because this is a different universe. <laughs> he can't get out of the vehicles. He's not allowed to. <laughs> he's not allowed to walk. But when winching, you roleplay that you can winch. You actually have a Spider-Man type like ability, where if uh, w let's cover winching. To do that, I have to start the engine, and then attach winch. Now to, and then hit the X button again. Attach it, which is attached to the back for some reason, which I didn't want it to do. It just does that sometimes. So I hit the back button again, release winch, hit the back button again, or circle button, drive a little bit. But we're going to square it up and use the winch this time. So it does it from the front. That's how you, that's how you get past that glitch. And I'm not close enough. There's a winch radius. There. This time it attached in the back again. That's not... So I need to winch. Let's drive up just a little bit more. Attach winch. Let's do this one. To do that, you hit the D-pad to the left or to the right. To scroll through. Now it should be attached to the front. I guess I don't have a front winch. No, it is, it is attached to the front. It's just, it was just hard to see because it's night. Now I gotta release the handbrake. Now I hear I hit the triangle. Wait. Yeah, it's attached to the back. Because if it's attached to the front, which I've seen, it would have a different... Whatever. It's a minor glitch that will irritate you. I don't know why it does that. It's weird. It doesn't always do that, though. Don't worry. If you need to tow a vehicle, it doesn't work that way. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Is, it, is that just normal? Is that how it is in real life? Whatever. I'm not an expert. That's how you do it. I think I covered about 80% of what this game's all about. What it encompasses. And then your character will take a nap, which he's doing right now. Whoops. And I'm going to turn the engine off and let him sleep. Every, all my ducks are in a row. Have a great day, everybody. Leave a like, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And then hit the bell so you can be notified for future videos. And it will help out the channel a lot. I appreciate it. Have a good day.